We're recording. Okay. Hello, and welcome back to Cooking with Michael. I've got Zach on the camera today. Hello. And so it will be a little bit more dynamic than, than usual. Um, I am going to be making a uh, lentil soup this time, which is surprisingly similar to the split pea soup that I made last week. So I'm not going to show you all the steps, and I'm not going to do everything um, from scratch. What I am going to do is show you the differences between... <laughs> I'm going to show you the differences between... Um, or the, the additional things that are happening for this for this soup. Um, normally, uh, you can do the same. You can do a, a lentil soup exactly the same way I did the split pea. It'll come out identically. Um, or it's the exact same recipe, but um, swapping out lentils and it ends up being a really delicious soup. And it tastes actually completely different. Uh, this style is going to be a little bit different. We're going to add a lot of cumin instead of the other herbs that we put in. We're going to be adding. Uh, lemon juice, a lot of lemon juice, and we're going to be adding diced potatoes to add a little bit more texture. So um, why don't I just get started showing you how to do a potato, and then I'll um, juice a lemon for you to get those pieces out of the way, and then I'll just show you the finished product. So potato, pretty pretty simple to do. Take your um, take the potato and you just peel it. You, again, I've got my Y-shaped vegetable peeler here. Now what you may notice is that the um, that I have the um, potatoes. I have a couple other potatoes that I've already peeled, and they're sitting in a pot with water in them. And the reason for that is that potatoes have a tendency to turn red and oxidize when they're exposed to air after you peel them. So you don't want to let them sit out for too long because they'll turn red and kind of gross looking. So um, keep your potatoes uh, under water, so keep them submerged in order to prevent them from turning red. So um, got these guys peeled. Um, basically, I'm just going to, for these, I'm going to kind of try to dice them into small cubes. So you can see I'm kind of cutting them. In in three long wise, and then a little chop, chop, and then in pieces here like this, and back into the water so they don't turn red. I don't know if uh, turning red also changes the flavor or not, or whether it's just a visual thing, but... It just looks really gross. Yeah, it just looks gross. So you can see potato is pretty quick and easy to get nice little cubes of potato. So let's get that in there. Now the other thing is, the, um, the other difference between this and the other split pea soup is the, um, we're adding lemon now this time. Now lemon's pretty simple to do. Um, uh, the first step that a lot of people don't know about is actually you can roll it with your hand on a flat hard surface and what that does is it has a tendency to break up the little juice packets inside and make it easier for you to get juice out. Uh, for a while I was using a a lemon reamer. Hmm. Um, you want to chuckle there, Zach? I'm chuckling. Um, which looks like this. Uh, and the way you use it is you just go like that, and then the lemon juice squirts everywhere. Um, some of it ends up where it's going to, where it belongs, and the rest of it ends up um, everywhere else. So I actually don't use it anymore. Um, I have this little device which has a strainer built in and a receptacle, and it makes juicing lemons really simple. So you just take it and you squirt it, it generally tends to go downward instead of anywhere else. And then the little filter catches all the seeds and the extra pulp, and it makes pretty quick work of your lemon. So I'll go ahead and get the rest of these ingredients taken care of and uh, put the soup together. So, do you have any questions, Zach? I think I'm good. Okay, all right, thanks a lot.